Hi, Derek. Thanks for the quick response and sharing your URL and um, the target phrase that you're looking to rank for. So I'm going to be upfront here right away is that uh, to rank for this keyword, from what I've seen with your website, it's definitely going to be an uphill battle uh, for SEO. Uh, you're talking about a competitive keyword. Uh, it does have some really good search volume, but there are several big players here, big websites, companies here that are ranking. So you, I'm sure you're aware, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor, Redfin. And kind of comparing their websites to your website, um, there's definitely a ton of area for improvement. And I'm thinking, you know, realistically, we're talking about at least a year for you really to be positioned to uh, target this phrase and have a realistic chance of ranking on the first page for it. So a few things I want to show you. Um, competition, that's a 0.49. And even when we look at related keywords, you know, this pretty much ranges from 0.41 to 0.76. And that's on a scale of zero to one. And I would say anything over 0.4 is considered a hard keyword. Um, and kind of just drilling in a bit further here uh, to kind of some competitive analysis. So I'll go back here. And this tool, by the way, I use Uber Suggest, but I also use Ahrefs for kind of more detailed research. Um, so again, uh, it's considered a hard keyword. And um, kind of just looking at some of the same terms, keywords, so you know, related terms. It does have that search volume, but uh, yeah, again, it's a difficult keyword. So looking at those websites that are ranking well, or I should say those URLs that are ranking well, and kind of comparing them to your URL, so that's what we have right here. So a few things I wanted to point out here, kind of when we're comparing them. So the first thing is the DR, which is, um, short for domain rank. And that's pretty much a scale of zero to 100 on how much authority your website domain has. So in this case, we see that the domain authority is, you know, it's pretty high. You know, we see this is Zillow is at 91 and the lowest is 78. And that's not a error with the program. So your website authority is pretty much considered zero. So if you've ever played uh, sports videos games. This is almost like you're a player rated zero going against a star player rated like 90 or higher. That's kind of what we're talking about here. So a big part of an SEO campaign would be improving that domain rank. And to get to 90, that usually is going to take a few years at most. Um, what we do have going is that these URLs probably don't have nearly the same authority, but still you're looking at an uphill battle. Um, another thing I want you to point out here are the number of referring domains or websites that are linking just to these URLs. So you again see that that ranges from 17 to 375. And right now your website is at zero. And so I was I would never probably build more than 20 to 30 uh, URLs or uh, backlinks to a website, more, no more than 20 to 30 per month, because coming from zero, you want to make sure that this is natural. So if you have zero backlinks for all the time this website has been indexed in Google, and then all of a sudden you have 375 or 100, you know, in a month or two, that does look very spammy. And that's how, that, that would be a good way to get your, your website penalized. So don't mean to be negative, but I do, I know you mentioned in your post that don't apply if um, you're not able to get the job done. And, you know, I kind of just, you know, as an SEO professional, want to be completely transparent that, you know, you do have an uphill battle here. Now, one thing you're, you have going for you, okay, let's say home for sales in Austin, Texas, at least where the website is now, um, or I believe it was Austin, Texas home for sale. Where the website is now, it is very difficult to compete for that phrase. But you do have some other phrases here that 
don't have as much search volume, but you can kind of see here, KD, that's the keyword difficulty. They are a lot easier to rank for. So, you know, if you add up, you know, some of these, you know, you're talking about, um, you know, some things, some words that are realistic to rank for, and you add up that search volume, you do have a pretty good search volume on a multi-month basis. Um, so that is another way to think about this as we build up your website to realistically compete for some some of those other phrases. Um, you know, a lot of different variations. So those are considered your long tail keywords. Um, now going to your website, uh, and I'll go to that URL that you shared. Uh, yeah, it's the home page. So, you know, kind of just at a high level, you know, what I would focus on is your on-page SEO, of course. Um, I would first look at these title tags and just make sure that uh, they are optimized for those keywords that you're going after. So from what I'm seeing here, your business name is Austin Real Estate Specialist. But you also want to include, especially for your homepage, you want to include a primary keyword. So I think that would be something like Austin Homes for Sale or something very similar. And then you want to do something similar for each of the pages on your website. You know, making sure not only do you have your business name, but also a targeted keyword. When I look at the home page here, looks like you have some really good content. Uh, but what I would do is compare this to pages that are already ranking really well. So that top five, Zillow, Redfin, those other pages, and kind of just compare the content to see, you know, as far as word length or content length, how, where you, the range that you need to be at. Typically for a first page search result, you need to be at least 2,000 words, but that can vary based on the keyword that you're going after. Uh, but that will also tell me kind of what other phrases besides Austin Homes for Sale that we should include in your homepage. And I would also do the same for any other priority pages on your website that we're really trying to get ranked. Um, so that would be my first step. Uh, looking at a looking at the on-page SEO, the second step is really start getting the ball rolling with these backlinks. Um, again, not sure how old the website is, but uh, you do need to start building some domains because those are some referring domains because that has always been a fundamental part of uh, Google's ranking algorithm. And even though that's changing a bit, that's still a very important part of it. So, um, you know, I would start with a press release really targeting your business name just to get some branded anchors out there. And then over time, we can start going after backlinks that are using Austin, Texas homes for sale for uh, your, you know, for the, for the anchor text. So in a, at a high level, that's what I would do. Uh, something else, I'm not sure if you have a physical location. Um, yeah, I didn't see an address here on your website. And yeah, just make sure that you actually create some social media profiles because right, ne right now these just go to um, the main social media pages. But if you do have a physical location, um, I would consider doing a Google My Business. Uh, that can help you start getting some local lead, lead generation going um, because instead of you know, these national websites, you would be going against local real estate agents. But in order to have that, um, it's best if you did have a physical address in, in, um, in Austin to use for your Google My Business profile. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so on-page SEO, um, you know, Google my business profile if it's applicable and then building some backlinks. And then lastly, I would write out some content, you know, consider starting a blog for your website. You know, I know many people, they go back and forth on the usefulness of a blog, but the benefit of a blog, it allows you to, um, it allows you to uh, target different long tail variations for your keyword. And I don't think there's a magic number, but I would say anywhere between 24 to 36 blog articles, I would say 
you know, if you're looking at blogging once a month, that's probably two to three years worth of blogs. But what I like to do early on in the campaign, go ahead and get that content planned out and written. And that way you can post it, you know, maybe in the first few months of the campaign. And, um, you know, you can, you know, start seeing those benefits faster versus waiting two to three years. Um, so that's what I'm seeing, Derek, for, you know, really getting this website to rank well. Um, I haven't looked at any of the technical factors, but, you know, you do have a, a steep hill to climb here. So if you are really looking to generate leads for, for this website, and you don't have, that timeline of at least a year or two doesn't really fit with your goals. What I would also recommend is looking at some paid traffic. So the cost per click surprisingly isn't that high. It's a dollar seventy-eight. I'm not sure if that's because of the COVID nineteen uh, situation going on right now, where it's driven that cost per click low. Um, but that's pretty. You know, that's a pretty uh, cost-effective cost per click. And even when I look at this over in Ahrefs, it's still not too bad. It's at, I believe, $3.78 or $3.50. So still, that's not a terrible cost per click. But that can be a faster way to start generating some traffic and leads for, for, this, for this business. Um, and typically what I do, I will start with a paid Google campaign early on in the campaign. And once my SEO starts building momentum, I will start easing off of the Google ads and that way eventually your SEO, your organic traffic will take care of all of the traffic and lead generation needs that you're looking for with the website. So uh, Derek, I'm sure that's not what you wanted to hear, you know, as far as getting this website to rank for this phrase, but I think this is kind of a realistic view of uh, the the task ahead of you. So I'm interested in discussing next steps and uh, feel free to reach out if you want to continue this conversation. But hopefully this video has been helpful, Derek, and uh, take care. Have a great weekend.